If you can program your favorite TV shows to record, you can program the remote for your motorized shades. Today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is. In this short video, I'll discuss activating your shade motor, setting up and operating your remote, adjusting the programmed upper and lower limits, setting a favorite position for your shade, and reversing your shade's direction. You can always consult your shade's installation instructions as needed for additional reference. Do not attempt to lower or raise your motorized shade manually. Doing so can permanently damage the motor and other components in the headrail. The first step will be to activate your shade's motor. Locate the micro USB charger in your hardware and plug it into the closest power outlet to your window. Then plug the charger into the port on the motor head. A green light will illuminate, indicating that your shade is now active and ready to use. Now, let me show how to operate and pair your shade. Your remote should come from the factory already paired to the shade. You may choose to adjust these settings for your own convenience. You will see six buttons on the front of your remote control device. Up, Stop, Down, Left, Right, and Channel Select. On the back of the remote, there is also a program button that can only be accessed with a thin object like a paperclip. Your remote can operate up to five shades separately. The five lights at the top of the remote indicate which channel you're currently operating. We highly recommend programming only one shade to each channel to avoid complications during programming and operation. Press the up button to raise the shade, press the stop button to halt the movement at any point, and press the down button to lower the shade. Now to pair your remote. Press and release the program button on the motor head of your shade. Your shade will make continuous up and down movements, known as jogs, to indicate that program mode is active. Set the remote to the channel you wish to assign to the shade. Press the small pair button on the back of the remote. The shade will stop jogging for a brief moment, which indicates that the shade is now paired to the selected channel. Your shade will start jogging again after a brief pause. Deactivate program mode by pressing the program button on the motor head of your shade again. To remove a shade from its channel, simply repeat the steps you followed to pair your remote with the appropriate channel selected. Now, let me show you how to set your shade's upper and lower limits. This step is optional, as your shade comes from the factory with upper and lower limits already programmed. First, you'll need to delete the existing programmed limits. Activate program mode by pressing the button on the motor head. When the shade starts jogging, press and hold the program button on the motor head for about 10 seconds. After about 5 seconds, the shade will stop jogging for a few moments. Continue holding down the button until the shade stops jogging for a second time. The previous upper and lower limits have been deleted. Now, activate program mode again to begin setting the lower limit. Push and hold the down button to lower the shade to the desired lower limit. Adjust incrementally until you're satisfied with the position. To save the new lower limit, simultaneously press and hold the stop and up buttons until the shade stops jogging for a brief pause. When the shade starts jogging again, your lower limit is saved and you may proceed with setting the upper limit. Push and hold the up button to raise the shade to your desired upper limit. Adjust incrementally until you're satisfied with the position. To save the new upper limit, simultaneously press the stop and down buttons until the shade stops jogging briefly. When the shade starts jogging again, your upper limit is saved and you can safely deactivate program mode. Before you continue, use the remote to test that your limits were saved successfully. The next optional step is to program a favorite position for your shade. Activate program mode by pressing the program button on your shade's motor head. Then move the shade to your desired favorite position. Press and hold the stop button for about seven seconds until the shade briefly stops jogging. Your new favorite position has been programmed. When the shade begins jogging again, you can safely deactivate program mode. Now, whenever the shade is not in motion, holding the stop button will move your shade directly to your saved position. If your shade moves up when you push the down button, and vice versa, your motor's direction needs a quick adjustment. Activate program mode by pressing the program button on the shade's motor head. Then simply press and hold the up and down buttons simultaneously until the shade stops jogging for a brief moment. When the shade continuously jogs again, you can safely deactivate program mode by pressing the program button on the motor head. 
Test the up and down buttons to make sure the direction has been corrected. Lastly, let's briefly review how to use the pull wand. Grab the handle at the bottom of the wand and quickly pull it to move the shade up or down. Pull it again to stop the shade's movement. Pull one more time to send the shade in the opposite direction. You can even reach your favorite position by pulling and holding it down until the shade begins moving on its own. You did it! You now know how to operate and program your motorized shade. If you have any questions or need more help programming your remote, refer to the installation instructions on our website or just give us a call. We're here to help.